All right. Welcome, Aneke, once again. <laughs> We're going to try hey, to yeah. um, confession. Aneke and I have had a few conversations and recorded, but haven't been able to get them up. So anyway, here goes with this try. And we're going to discuss again, like the last time we actually talked about our morning routine, but I've sort of extended that idea because it's not much longer to talk about what the daily routine on average is. And um, yeah. So do you want to, you want to start, Aneke? Yes. Great. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I, I always make sure I have like a, a quite a big glass jar in my toilet mm. and that's about a liter, like thousand ml. And I'm really happy when I catch my morning urine, right? Mm. Because of all the greatness of the night being there inside. And if it happens in a more early night, I usually drink it and uh, and then I will like, yeah, uh, be again in the morning, right? The first and then, uh, and that's what I kind of, yeah, that's see as the first morning pee when I wake up. And what do I do? Uh, so I drink this. This is the first thing I drink in the morning. And I think I, I drink, about like, yeah, I don't know, three quarters, depending how much I uh, there is inside. And I like um, as well, like morning routine spoken to use like the blend of Moringa oil, 80% mixed with boiled down aged plasma. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I use as a skincare product. And, and you have standard. that as a premix? Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 I like, I really, and I shake it before I use it to make sure that it's really well blended. Mm -hmm. And um, I use like a cotton cloth, I put on, apply fresh. Um, urine and then I wash my face, my neck and my decollete and my feet. Um, yeah, my feet, I always involve because they always like attention, my feet, because they, uh, because of my uh, chalk nails and uh, dry skin. I mean, this is something which I now uh, will uh, hopefully uh, change with the boots, the plasma mm. boots, but that's another story. <laughs> And um, <laughs> yeah, so that's really, I think my morning urine um, uh, ritual. And I always think that I forget things probably, but this is like the super basic um, morning. And if I have time, I do an enema, but usually for me, that's in the evening. Mm. And then I mix like morning plasma with aged like 50 50 about 300 ml mm -hmm. yeah because you have like the basti equipment and i don't have that yet right so you're doing like a larger volume yeah right yeah exactly and so do you do the too. nasal wash in the morning yeah yes i do actually with the boiled aged plasma it's all the, always when i talk about it is of course cool down right it's just, yes yeah <laughs> yeah you prep this uh, ahead of time you do your boiling ahead of time and make your reduction yeah. to about one quarter and bottle that up and then that's your um topical stuff yes yeah exactly yeah i do this too and if i like yeah that's my morning routine mm. And if there was any clocking, like a little cold, I'm now a little cold. So then I do it maybe two or three times a day. Mm. I love the, uh, it's like a neti pot kind of experience, right? The nasal wash. Yeah. And uh, I oh. love it. Yeah. I usually actually do that. Sorry, I'm now I'm going into mine. Are you? Is that no, I, th I wrap think up it's right. Your? It's time. No, yes. And then we'll, uh, so I, uh, I actually do start my day with, uh, 
probably the first thing I do after I drink my morning plasma or some of my morning plasma is I'll go straight to uh, Bastille or enema, however you want to call it. Bastille, actually. Like, enema is really a lot more volume. So I yeah. do the Bastille. And um, I measured my syringes, and the syringe that I use, this guy here, mm -hmm. He this one longer. holds about 100 ml. Yes. Yeah. So am yeah. I getting it correct? There. Yeah, it was oh. there, yeah. <laughs> yes. And then I have a smaller one for my nasal wash and stuff like that. And if I want to flood my ears, and this one's about 50 ml. Oh. And uh, yeah, actually, I'd end up doing two enemas a day. I do one in the morning before I do my exercises. And then I do another one in the evening before I have a shower. I usually shower in the evening. Yeah. I don't usually shower okay. in the morning. And sometimes I'll do like a third one midday. I'll do <laughs> a third best. Oh, wow. Just depends yeah. on what's going on with how I'm feeling or if I'm feeling like low and it's like, I don't know, or if, if I didn't get a lot happen in my morning bestie, then I'll do another one after I'm done my exercises. And, uh, and I, after you have that movement in your body, it seems like more is able to um, come out. Yeah. Which kind of yeah, but sense. you say like if it didn't come out yet, you might do a midday and yeah. uh, last day, right? Yeah, and with traveling and so much moving around and and stuff right now, the uh, not being in your own home and that kind of thing, like having doing the best D is really so nice because it it puts you on a schedule with your bowel movement. You're not out yeah. somewhere and then feel like you need to go to the bathroom like you sort of pre take yeah. care of that and i yes. really i was i was saying before i really miss the the bidet the the hose yeah. that they have in asia you don't really have toilet paper in asia and in north america and here in mexico everything is just like you know the roll of toilet paper and there's no bum gun so i actually take this no. container into the bathroom with me yeah you probably recognize this brand <laughs> this is from lao actually uh -huh. and i fill this up with water and then i just pick up the water with the syringe and give myself a bidet and then i just towel off and that's Excellent. sort of how i manage that i think uh, anybody who's got um bowel problems wow that's such a great one to include in your day and anyway then after yeah. that actually since we started talking and you were sharing about using your fresh uh as for a, like a wash mm. i've started doing that actually and uh i really love that like same thing as you your face your neck and i do my feet because Although I don't have the same issue as you with your feet, I do have like this reoccurring um, like athlete's foot or something like that. I don't know exactly what it is. But if I keep on top of keeping my feet nice and clean and, and plasmod, <laughs> then I don't have that. I don't have that turn up. And um, Wonderful. yeah, so I don't have plasma boots anymore, but I have been like washing them regularly and that. And that makes a really yeah. good difference. And then, yeah, and then, um, yeah, in the evening I do, I do my nasal wash in the evening, actually, when I'm in the shower at a, a nighttime okay. thing. Lee does yeah. his in the morning, first thing, even sometimes through the night because he has congestion problems. But Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. And then I the sip cycle. Eggs through the day I'm, i always yes. try to sip cycle but yeah oh, the yeah. morning one i drink most of most of it yeah. and same as you i have a one liter uh water water bottle that has a nice lid on it with a really nice yeah. wide opening that i use yeah. 
to uh, to catch. And that's actually also my to go container because when I go into when I walk into town or whatever, if I'm going for lunch with someone, then I'll just take that container with me so that I can right. even bring back, even if I'm not drinking it, like I want to bring it. I keep all of my plasma, obviously. Yeah. Because yeah. there's endless uses for this stuff, as you know. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah, just trying to accumulate and age some of it as well. I still don't yeah. have any boiled. And that's been really interesting. I've been really watching Lee's skin change so much. He's been here longer than me and has his boiled plasma, which I use sometimes, but I've been not using his boiled plasma lately. And just using my Moringa oil and cacao butter as a moisturizer. And it's like not cutting it. Going like, into, yeah, right. like, I mean, it is, but I'm like, wow, I'm using a lot of product. Like I'm using a lot of Moringa oil for my whole body and my bottle is like, and I don't yeah, know yeah. where I'm going to, I'm going to have to order in more, but anyway, and you really see the advantages of, like how much better it is for your skin and what a huge cost cutter it is. Yeah, yeah. So he really does for his skincare boiled plasma. For topical, that's pretty much all he puts on his skin, except for when he goes wow. in to have a shower and he washes his hair with aged and he does his neti he does his nasal wash as I do with aged. And then the the boiled is really like all body moisturizer um that yeah but no extra moringa oil no like wow. none very very yeah. rarely even after he shaves so yeah. it's like um it's mm. sometimes he'll use cacao butter afterwards after he's got that on and what i noticed which i started doing after you talked about washing your face with your age with your fresh I got a little bull out and I was like, I got up in the morning and my skin was, it was all great before I went to bed because I just got out of the shower and I put all my Moringa oil on and my cacao butter. But then you get up in the morning after you slept all night and my, your skin's a bit dry. And to put Moringa oil on to dry skin, it's just like, it's like a wall there or something. Right. And so, um, it's like you need to hydrate the skin so that it'll like soak up the moringa oil or something like that. And so I started just using a, a little bowl and and um, discharging some of my fresh into that. And I'll just wet my cloth actually. And it's like a dry skin eraser. You just like wipe it on and <laughs> your dry skin is like gone. And then I put yeah. my moringa oil on and it's a lot less yeah. volume that I use. Fantastic. So there's so many ways to get into your routine. It's just a matter. Just start with something. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. apprehension out there about drinking, and I'm like, well, then just use it topically for a while. But... Yeah, use fresh topically. Yeah. And and I yeah I, I collect until eleven o'clock in the morning because I've. What I remember is then, until that time, the liver is really cleansing, basically detoxifying, mm. and and though I can, sometimes I liked really your idea about like every time you co go to the toilet, just sip from it, right? Because yeah. in every moment of the day, you are in a different moment, so your body is excreting something different, which is, I think, to follow, like, the natural process, I think that can be very, it feels good. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're, um, it really is a great way to get to know your diet, too. Like, yeah. you were saying before, you were asking a question before about oils, and you were reading something about oils and chilies, yeah. and uh, what else was it? Salt. Oh, yeah. And that if you yeah. eat a lot of those things that you should just throw it out, which I don't agree with. But um, uh, yeah, if it doesn't taste good, then there's something there in your diet that you need to 
change to yeah. make that situation better. But I never think that there is a problem with consuming it because uh, uh, Megan and I were talking about this, um, Megan McDonald, you're, cause with uh, pharmaceuticals, if you're taking something, your body is like detoxing that. So it's like your plasma is a detoxed version of what you took, of what you just ate or what you just took. Yeah. So yeah. yeah if you, you were worried about what you were eating before, then you really shouldn't be worried about yeah. drinking uh, that because it's a lot better. You're a lot better. Yeah, off. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Everything in the right structure, like structured water, right? So yeah. That's what it is yeah. really when it boils down to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, I think yeah, maybe f for this moment is fine like this. Yeah, and I, one other thing I would like to um, just to qu quickly talk about before we wrap up is um, what's your biggest uh, d difference that you've seen in your body in the like it's almost two years now, hey that we've been yes. doing this because mm -hmm. we started almost yeah. the same time. And yeah. um, so what's your biggest sort of influence on your body that you've, that you've seen in the last two years? I, I've, I, I, I am not sure because I am not great in remembering, right. In what the improvements are. So I, I but I just, from how I feel from the inside, it's probably sparkling towards the outside. Yeah. Hey. I, I feel really grounded, clear minded, energetic the whole day, you know, like yeah. really, you, I mean, of course it's hot now, but anyway, it's really it, like these three things very connected with my myself my inner mm -hmm. being i feel yeah yeah really yeah like a different level messy. of cleanliness and where you say the mind yes. the it's like a cal decalcification kind of process happens yeah. in your head yeah like the pineal gland they say um it's good for decalcifying that from our right. diet yeah. that we had before. Did your diet yeah. change a lot in the last two years? No, uh, because I already made that drastic change before mm -hmm. from automolecular hormonal balance perspective. Right, which we will talk about next time. But, yeah, <laughs> and but I, I know that I'm more easy, I stay, more easy on track with the with the plasma because of the intake mm -hmm. because of the enemas mm -hmm. yeah so you know, so if i know it's in a way i just take keep count on my hormonal cycle where i am and what i eat mm -hmm. sometimes more more than other but i usually eat clean and healthy because i just love i really love the clarity and it's even like quadruple because of the plasma. Yes. Yeah. And then you see the impact more now if you, like we went out a few nights ago and we were like, okay, let's just go and try a local restaurant. Yeah. We'll order off the menu. We'll get some like Mexican food and we'll order it vegetarian and see how we feel. And I was really like, it was like going into another time zone. <laughs> or another reality yeah. really and all of yeah. the salt i was yeah. just really like i it was amazing how quickly i felt toxic just because it's been so mm. long since i've eaten anything like that and um yeah it was a big eye opener actually for me or both yeah. of us and uh i definitely couldn't do it anymore after eating as clean as I have the last two years like wow yeah 
and it really feels like we're you're on you're permanently detoxing when you yeah. on some level when you're um cycling the way we yes. are oh yeah so hey and and for you what has changed in your diet the last two years well right before we started the plasma journey we became vegetarian and it's been leaning towards vegan like quite a bit um although i still eat dairy but i don't eat eggs anymore since i've been here and uh, another big change was uh the salt like really just i don't cook with salt anymore i don't even have salt which is shocking because i had like a v salt collection <laughs> as you know before yes and um so i mean i don't know i i um so that i mean it's like an evolution it's always changing and i might go back to including a bit of salt in my diet but right now i'm totally happy with not and um uh so it's made me like i was already leaning on a clean diet and it's even cleaner uh now and just eliminating yeah. the unnecessaries really the ones that don't taste good and just um really enjoying that but but i guess for my body physically what really made a huge change for me right away when i first started because i did a three-day fast when i started was my arth or my wrist pain the pain i was having in my wrists that i had double radial shortening in both of my arms um to relieve the pressure in my wrist because i torn the blood vessels off the lunate bone in my wrists. So um, they call it Kindbox disease. And usually masonry workers get it. It's like from a lot of heavy lifting, which is my other career was really a lot of heavy lifting. Um, so that I'd really fought with that wrist pain like for a really long time, obviously. And uh, yeah, in the first three days, all of this pain went away and a lot of mobility came back. And I was blown away by that just right off the yes. bat. I've never gone back to that kind of level of um, uh, pain in my wrists that I had. And that was only from the fast, no rubbing. Yeah, just fasting. Wow. And that was where we started. We started with a three day fast. And it was like a yeah. huge detox for us because we went from, uh, yeah, that was like a big changing point. So that was sort of like the one of the big, huge impact things that happened straight away. And then um, I really fixed up my feet um, with the plasma boots later on. But it's been an evolution, as you say, the clarity and uh, just... Uh, sparkly you really feel your body clean on a different yeah. kind of level it's like yes I don't even know how to describe it hey it's like um, everything it feels softer and more supple and more energized <laughs> and um, yeah yeah i think the electrical part of it like the ph and the charge of the plasma itself when you take take that back into your body it really harmonizes your your body on a ph like um hormonal electrical <laughs> level yeah 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 so it really is, looking really forward to the future. <laughs> See, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to do some more experimenting and more workshops and more sharing. It's been so yes. powerful for, for us. Yes. Yeah. And we wish this for everybody who allows him or herself. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, to be yeah. open enough to at yeah. least like um, explore it, and uh, yeah, after the after this um, getting into the spring here, I actually want to after we move, I want to do like a 
uh, written, I'd actually love to collaborate with you on this, like to write up a protocol. Yeah, exactly. How to start, you mean? Yeah, and redo the, and write a book, actually. Um, yeah. And include some of the important stuff from The Water of Life by John Armstrong. Except the foreword, yeah. the afterword, and the first chapter there, even if you don't want to read the whole thing. He says some really important stuff in there about just the the situation that we find ourselves in as far as like what we're allowed to say. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it, um, some really interesting things yeah. there that we can talk about in depth later. But and the hormonal, yeah, the hormonal aspect of this. Which is another reason yeah. why I sip cycle, actually. If I'm having a... Yeah. Like when I've been through some in your travels, you end up having like things happen to you and in some intense, stressful things. And in those moments, I think it's really like important to actually cycle back because you give your body that biofeedback like right away. And the body yeah. always is trying to keep itself in balance. So when you give it that yeah. that information that for it about itself, then it can yeah. more quickly balance. And the hormones is a yeah. big part of that, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, in a, an understatement in the deep, indeed. That's so uh, all only already for this. Mm -hmm. as it's and and like as we see hormones as messengers they just met we need we can only live with them and it's not only females it is everything <laughs> all <laughs> our body processes <laughs> yeah so and that's very nice to be in a loving way conscious about and that you can do actually tons with it with with uh auto urine like you you reuse you upcycle your plasma during the day just to continue even if you just zip it yeah it is so useful yeah and you actually mentioned the last time we spoke um about how when you before you drink your morning when you really kind of give it a blessing yes like with um you put some intention into that and yes. I think that's also actually a really important aspect of it. It's like, um, you know, thoughts are things and, and, uh, yeah. yeah, you, you change, you change something in your body when you do that and you change something in the plasma that you're consuming when you do that. And that mm. cycle. Yes. Yeah. Makes the an agreement, impact. The, the cooperation, the joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, yeah and you can name it how it feels good for you like which what resonates with you yeah and, uh, and it can be just one word you know it's not a matter of time it's really about the connection and yeah the joy in this mm -hmm. right yeah yeah willingly and lovingly yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yes oh yes so fantastic Cool. And important. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll. I'm going to stop the recording now. We'll wrap it up with that. Any closing words or anything that you would like to? Yeah, I, I wish everybody watching, if you are doubting, doubting, just do it. Even if it's just one drop under the tongue or mm -hmm. you just do a little bit and you mix it with the juice with your morning water whatever you use just do it make yeah. a start make just a start yeah yeah that's great advice and my as also to add on to that uh, to start if you're thinking of starting and you're apprehensive uh, um, a few drops is pretty easy <laughs> how Nick I said but start by collecting just get a bottle mm. and get it aging even if you aren't gonna, even if you're apprehensive to use it and just at least have some aged plasma around your house 
because uh, I think this is like a really big thing for a first aid kit actually in your home to have a bottle of aged plasma around. Wow. Yeah. Lifesaver. Yeah, definitely. Hey, definitely. So start by collecting (laughs) and while you're at it, put a drop under your tongue or as, um, how did, uh, um, Megan, she started with just rubbing a little bit on the back of her hand. And then she was like, oh, (laughs) wow. It really works. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Well, great. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to do, we're going to try to do bi-weekly shorts under half an hour. Yes. And uh, cover a variety of conversations and hopefully expand into having a chat. So we'll see how it goes. Yes. And a membership. Yes. Lots of things in the wings. So keep posted. Super nice. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you. Mm -hmm.